Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing about particle swam optimization. So, swam intelligence introduction to PSO. A original PSO in that the local base PSO and uh, global base PSO PSO parameters. All the subtopics will be dealt in this video. Algorithm aspects and the basic variations and applications will be dealt in the part two video. So first we'll start with uh, swam intelligence. Swam intelligence, what is, uh, what do you mean by swam intelligence? And before getting to swam intelligence, we'll see what is swam. Swam means group. In a group, each and every individual will be called agent. Those agents will communicate with each other either by directly or indirectly and acting on their own local environment. So what is intelligence? See, uh, it, it emerged from the interaction of such agents is called uh, uh, swam intelligence or collective intelligence. What is computational swam intelligence? It's nothing but it is algorithmic models of such intelligence or such behavior is called computational swam intelligence. Example, computation model of swam intelligence are mostly social animals and social insects behavior. From there it has been derived. You can see the examples like ants, termites, bees, spiders, fish schools and bird flocks or some of the social animals and insects would be taken as a inspiration to model the computational swam intelligent techniques. See, the individuals is relatively very simple in this, but their collective behavior is very, usually very complex. And the pattern of interaction between the individuals of the swam over time is very important. So what will be the objective of uh, computational swam intelligent models, if you ask? First of all, you need to uh, identify and model the simple behavior of individuals then and you have to uh, identify the local interactions uh, with environmental and the neighboring and then by that we can able to obtain more complex behaviors so from these three it's possible for us to solve any complex problem that is your any com optimization problem and uh, that's about the swam intelligence so let us see about pso what is pso so PSO is first introduced by James Kenney and uh, uh, Russell in the year 1995. It's a concept of optimizing a nonlinear function using SWAM English methodology. It's a population-based search algorithm. Simulation of uh, social behavior of bird within the flock is the main focus initially. And individuals over here are called particles. And the individuals will follow a very simple behavior as we discussed in the early uh, uh, swam intelligence slides. It emulates the success of neighboring, then it emulates their own success. So swam particles are population of individuals. These particles will have its own velocity. So in a particular given time, a particular particle, the position of particular particle i at given time t, is expressed as x i of t given by the equation x i of t plus 1 equal to x i of t plus v i t plus 1. So current position is to current position to new position is given by uh, old position plus the velocity v i of t plus 1 that is nothing but the velocity. In this case x i of 0 will be anywhere it is from the set that is uh, varies from x min to x max that is u of x min to x max so the initial position is when t equal to 0 it is anywhere in the set varies from x min to x max so that's about the basics then the velocity vector uh, derives the optimization process mainly here and also it reflects the experimental knowledge and the socially and exchanged information. So the experimental knowledge of a particle is called cognitive component. The social enhanced information is called social component. So these two components are very important component. 
what is cognitive component the cognitive component is the uh, distance of particles from its own best position and the particles personal best position or comes under cognitive component what is social component it is inspired by the simulation and social behavior so related to bird flocking or fish schooling and swan theory is mainly focusing on steer towards the center everything should be steered towards the center and match neighbor's velocity try to match the neighbor's velocity at the same time avoid collisions that is the basic principle uh, is been used in, in the pso's so now let us see what is the original pso algorithm and under that what is global best pso and local best pso see inspired from the nature social behavior and dynamic movements with the communication of insects birds and fish in 1986 uh, renault has come up with three process simple behavior process it's called separation you can see in this case it's avoid crowding uh, with respect to local flock mates it's not crowded it maintains some separation distance social distance and then alignment move towards the average heading of the local flock mates so it moves towards uh, based on the uh, average uh, towards the average heading of local uh, flock mates so that is the uh, alignment second one uh, and the last one is moves towards the uh, average position of local flock mate is cohesion cohesion so this is uh, here you can see in the green one maintain some distance whereas the green one moves along the average heading of local flock mates and in this here the uh, green one moves to a new position uh, and that will be again aligned with or in in line with the local flock mates so these are the three things he has explained in the year 1986 separation alignment progressions are the three basic behaviors and uh, based on this there are two pso algorithms been developed that is depends on the size of their neighbors if it is a small size then it is a local pso if it is a bigger size then it is called global pso so g best pso and l best pso or p best pso sometime local uh, may be replaced by the terminology called personal best so local best or personal best pso is a smaller size and um, a global best is the larger size so it wh what happens here if you see in this it combines both your self experience with the social experiments ex uh, experience so that's the beauty of this pso as we discuss uses a number of agents that is called particles that constitute a swarm moving around in a such space looking for a best solution okay it's a it's a number of agents uh, will be forming a swarm and that will be moving around the such space looking for the best solution maybe maximization or minimization this is the uh, ob objective of the function so each particle in such space adjusts its flying according to so it flying is adjust according to own flying experiment uh, experience as well as the flying experience of the other particles the neighbors so that is what it is uh, it, it uses the own experience as well as the social experience collection of flying particles uh, so, uh, will be that is particles will be changing the solution value In the search area is the possible solution will have the possible search area should have the possible solution that means a, it should be a feasible solution a region and the moment was the moment towards the promising area to get the global optimum so if the moments are towards the promising area and we are getting we are approaching towards the global optimum each particle keeps track of two things one is its best solution that is personal best that we call it as local best or personal best and the best value of any particle that is global best g best so these two it has to track so the basic concept is it will the agents will form a, a swarm moving around in a circle that's a basic while flying it will fly according to its own personal experience and the social experience 
collection of flying will be changing the solution how the collectively the swam flies based on that the solutions are changing then the search area should have the possible solution in it that means it should be feasible solution region movements towards the promising area will get you the global optimum that's another important point and then it, all particle will keep two values it will be tracking one is the personal best the other one is the best value of any other particle that's the global best fine and each particle adjusts its traveling speed dynamically corresponding to the flying experience of itself and its colleagues already we discussed about it so that means each particle modifies its position according to its current position its current velocity and the distance between its current position and the uh, local best and the distance between its current position and the global best so uh, that's very important we'll see this uh, detail uh, about these details in the uh, next uh, next slides so what is the what is me what do you mean by global best ps4 uh, the neighborhood of each particle is the entire swan and the social network if you see this is the star topology network the velocity update statement is given by this way vij is ij of t plus 1 is equal to vij of t that is the new velocity is equal to old velocity plus c1 r1 j of t into vi y yij of t minus xi of xij of t uh, this is your uh, local uh, local parameter local best of the swan and the next one is uh, c2 c2 into r2 of j of t into y cap of j t minus x i j of t this is your uh, uh, global best so what is v i j this is the velocity of particle i in uh, dimension j where uh, j varies from 1 to n x uh, y i j of t is nothing but personal best position this is personal best position and personal best position and uh, y cap of j t is nothing but best position found by the swan so this is best position found by the group okay swan and x i j of t is the position of particle i in dimension j it's the same uh, it's a velocity v is the velocity x is the uh, position and y is the best position value so mostly uh, then c1 and c2 are the uh, positive acceleration constants it scales the contribution on the cognitive and social components so c1 is the cognitive self and c2 term is for uh, social component and r r1 of jt and r2 of jt are uh, the numbers taken from the set 0 to 1 and it is a caustic element uh, of the algorithm so that's about your uh, global best pso so the fitness function is given by f uh, dimension f uh, f of r with the dimension nx derived from r set the personal bed position uh, at the next time step is given by y i of uh, t plus 1 is equal to y i of t itself in case if the x dimension the new x dimension is greater than uh, the old y dimension function of y dimension value okay uh, and in case uh, it will be equal to x i of t plus 1 if f of x i of t plus 1 is less than y of t i t i of t i t i so the global best position may be taken from this way so y of t is equal to minimum of f of x naught of t to x naught x f of x n s n s of t that has been derived from this minimum it's a minimization function been taken from this what is ns ns is nothing but the total number of particles in a swan okay so now we will uh, uh, combine all those and then make it as a uh, algorithm a pseudo algorithm code it is pseudo code it is for the uh, global best ps4 first we need, need to create and initialize an nx dimensional swan then repeat this for each particle i and do set the personal best position then compare in terms of x and y if uh, uh, f of x i is less than f of y then uh, assign y of i is equal to x of i and end it then 
after setting the personal best position now you have to set the global best position in case if f of y i is less than f of y cap then y cap is equal to y i okay and end this now we have set see it's very 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 simple first you have to create and initialize a dimension then first we need to fix the personal best position second we have to fix the global position best position then need to update the velocity and update the position and this need to be done until the stopping condition is true this has to be the loop has to be repeated until the <coughs> until the uh, stopping condition is true yeah next comes the local best ps form it's a smaller neighborhoods are defined for each particle and uh, the network topology over here is a, a ring social the velocity update statement is given by it's almost same equation only difference is this term uh, there won't be any uh, global contribution so it is the same vi of vi j of t plus 1 is equal to that is a new velocity is equal to the old velocity vi j of t plus c1 r1 of j of t into y i j of t minus x i uh, j of t so that is uh, this is your uh, uh, cognitive term contributed by cognitive term and this is the best position and the current position and uh, of the individual then comes c2 into r2 or r2 j of t of y uh, estimated y i j of t minus x i j of t so that's the thing so what is y this is y cap y cap y cap of i j t is the best position found by the neighborhood of the particle i in the dimension j so that's a difference that's one term this one term is different between the local and the global best so the best uh, position found in neighbor n i can be given by minimum of f of x okay the best position that is a new position the new position is can be given by min, min of f of x the neighborhood is defined by this way the n i is equal to y i n i minus n n of t and y i minus n n i of n i plus 1 of t etc etc these many are the neighborhood uh, your g best pso is a special case of your i best pso when a, when your n n i is equal to n s your n n i is this is equal to n s then this becomes a, your local best pso becomes a global best pso so what is i what is the difference between i best and the g best pso so there are mainly two differences available one is the g best psos are uh, it will converge very faster than the uh, uh, i best pso that means it's a less diversity system and then uh, next important thing is your l best pso has got less vulnerable of uh, uh, to being uh, trapped in local minima so that means uh, your uh, l best will not have any local minima props so that's about your uh, basics now let us see the pso parameters the pso parameter as we know the velocity components are very important first one is the uh, inertia component cognitive component then social component these many components are available what is v uh, v uh, vj of t vj of t is nothing but the previous velocity and in, uh, memory of the previous flight direction should be known and it prevents the particle from the drastically changing direction and bias towards the current direction so these many characteristics if there then it is referred as the inertia component okay and what is uh, uh, c1 r1 of yi minus xi this is called cognitive component and uh, uh, drawn back particles to their own best position and individuals return to situations that satisfies them most in the past this has been referred as nostalgica of particle social component in the case of social component in g best pso it will be something like this c2 r2 of y cap minus xi in the case of uh, l best it is c2 r2 y estimate i minus xi so the dimension comes as an extra parameter 
that is for your uh, local best each particle drawn towards the best position found by the particle's neighbor and this is referred as a nv so here is an illustration for us so you can see the particles these are the three particles this particle actually starts move as um, by previous history this previous history says it travels this has been traveled from here to here so the previous history is this so uh, in the same direction it travels that is what inertia velocity is all about next comes the cognitive velocity cognitive velocity is uh, uh, the cognitive is uh, this one the cognitive velocity is this one and um, and then comes the social velocity cognitive velocity is its its own best position has been calculated by its and then so it moves this side and social velocity because of the neighbors it calculates a new velocity that goes in this direction so now the new velocity is average velocity is in this direction it goes like this so it will be shifting from here to here okay so that's about the and the positions and velocities you can see it can take any it can be in any place and it can take any velocities so it can take out of these three any velocity it can take that's a um, point we just want to take it from this okay now the neighborhoods neighborhoods see uh, it will form a circle and uh, the three particles this is the center one and these three forms a circle and in geographically this three forms a circle and uh, otherwise these three will form another circle okay so that's a group neighbors a uh, geographical neighbors uh, close neighbors and social means uh, See for this fellow and uh, these two will be the social social met and for this fellow these two will be the social mates. So it forms a, and the entire these many bird flocks will form a global arrangement like uh, in a circle the neighbors will be always available. See if when we consider the particle one's three neighborhoods if you see particle one is this and its neighborhoods are eight and two. And it forms a virtual circle in which will circle all the other uh, particles will present. So the particle adjust their uh, position according to the psychological compromise. Psychological compromise between and what an individual is comfortable with and what a society is comfortable with. See, for example, I am here. So from here, you can see the original velocity is in this direction. So first it moves towards this direction then its best reference the local reference is this one the best uh, my best reference is this one since this is the reference and it changes its velocity uh, parallel to this so it changes its direction in this then again comes the social reference the best reference of my neighborhood the social reference is this one so according to this and uh, and then it, it changes the direction in this so now the particle which is there here with respect to its own velocity travels this much and with respect to its its best reference it moves the side that is the neighbor and then the social reference it moves to this location and the parameter as we discussed now we maybe you maybe come to know what is the size of the swam is important next comes neighborhood size and uh, number of iterations present in this are important this swam size if it is that will be called as ns more particles in a swam larger the initial di uh, diversity of the swam uh, general size will be between 10 to 30 actual problem is actually it is uh, dependent on problem neighborhood size it's a, a smaller neighborhood it's a slow in convergence but it is more reliable uh, reliable convergence to optimize the solution the best solution starting with smaller neighborhoods and increasing the neighborhoods number of iteration again it depends on the problem next comes the acceleration coefficients that is c1 c2 r1 r2 and uh, uh, your r1 r2 are the uh, controlling parameter uh, controls the stochastic influence of the cognitive and social components c1 is how much the confident uh, particle uh, uh, in itself and C2 is how much confident are uh, particles in its neighbors that's about this that is C1 is cognitive and C2 is the neighbor parameter so this is what the equation we learned and in this it's a new velocity is equal to the old velocity plus 
the uh, self confident particles term plus neighbor confident term so these are the two accelerating coefficients the c1 is the uh, confident of a particle in itself and c2 is the confident level of a particle in its neighbor and r1 r2 are the uh, stochastic influence of cognitive and social competence so this is the stochastic so it's is a control of stochastic influence of cognitive and this is control of uh, stochastic uh, stochastic influence of uh, social competence and uh, this y i i i j is the personal best position and this is the current position y cap of j is the the best neighbor position minus uh, the current neighbor, current neighbor position so that's about the parameters and uh, then the algorithm parameter when it comes to algorithm parameter a is the population of the agent and p is pi is the position of the agent agent ai in the solution space f is the objective function v is the velocity v of a is the neighbor of agent ai the neighbor concept concept in pso is not the same as one used in the other uh, meta heuristic search and uh, in the case of pso uh, each particle's neighbor would never changes it is fixed so but otherwise in other technique it changes so the algorithm goes something like this as you know first of all you have to initialize the uh, particle initialization you have to perform then each particles uh, particle p in uh, in p we have to calculate and by the way we will find the uh, uh, p best the otherwise local best we have to find then we have to calculate the global best and after calculating these two for a particle p we have to estimate the velocity then with the velocity we can update the position so this is the uh, pseudo random code for a ps algorithm based on the parameter so the particle update rule goes something like this p equal to p plus p p plus v and where v will be equal to v plus c1 into random of uh, i best or l best minus p that is the best position minus the uh, current position plus uh, c2 into random into g best minus p so uh, we already know but this has been simplified now for our best better understanding in uh, in pseudo code has been given p is the uh, particles position and uh, v is the path direction and c1 c2 are the weight of the local information or the global information i best and g best are the best position of the particle and best position of the swan rand is the random variable so the number of particles usually be given 100 to 50 or otherwise in the previous case we have just been told as um, 10 to 30 and now it has been taken as 100 to 50 that based on depends on the problem it changes c1 is the importance of the personal best value c2 is the importance of neighborhood best value and c1 plus c2 should be equal to 4 empirically it has been chosen if the velocity is too slow then algorithm will be too slow and uh, if the velocity is too high then the algorithm uh, will be too unstable so keep in mind the velocity is too low algorithm will be too slow if it is too high then the algorithm will be unstable so that's all about and we'll be discussing the remaining topics in part 2 video until then bye